तो हेलो गाइज वेलकम दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट एनुअल इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ लाइफ राफ्ट थ्रू दी सर्वीटेक टूल नाउ दी एनुअल इंस्पेक्शन इज वेरी इजी दैट्स द इजीएस्ट पार्ट बट अदर देन दैट आई विल शो यू व्हाट ऑल आइटम्स आर गिवन इन सर्वीटेक टूल हाउ टू गेट अ सर्टिफिकेट हाउ टू डू दी ट्रेनिंग हाउ टू फिल दी सर्टिफिकेट सो विल सी अ कंप्लीट वीडियो अबाउट दी सर्वीटेक लाइफ राफ्ट तो इनिशियली इफ योर लाइफ राफ्ट वॉज सर्विस बाय दी सर्वीटेक ग्रुप they would provide you a kit like this so that on board you can do 12 months and 30 months inspection by yourself and you don't need to send the life raft ashore so in this kit there are cds and instructions given inside so we'll open this box so this is just like a instruction manual is there so now we'll keep it side there is a cd from this cd you can install a software inside your laptop as well and uh, then you can install all those instructions which is given inside so all those things are given inside the cd this is the gas measuring tool for from the gas tech itself so if you don't have this tool there is still not a problem then you can install this cd in your laptop and there have they have provided the cables for testing so this cable will be required to be connected in your life raft and in your laptop this end will be in your laptop so that thing will be required but as of now like presently we have this equipment and it's working it's working fine so i'm not installing this cd in my laptop and i'm not doing the test with my laptop otherwise i could have done this test with my laptop as well so for now i close this it's just a normal handheld equipment where uh, it's just powered on the batteries so if it is not working then remove the back cover change the battery most probably it will start working inside there are two more things which are given this is the removal plug with the help of this plug we'll remove the plug which is there inside the life raft so we'll that that we'll see later on this is just an additional Tool. This is the kind of arrangement will be there in your life raft. So you just have to plug it inside, match the holes, and then with the help of this turning clockwise, anti-clockwise, and you'll remove this plug. So this will be the. This is just a spare plug which they have given to us. So I'll just keep it here. This is just a spare plug, and this is the main plug with the help of which we'll remove the plugs. So before going for the inspection of life raft. I would like to point out one IMO circular which is given on the survey tech site also, where they have shown that it is written anybody who wants to do the inspection of life raft he must be trained by the manufacturer and he must hold a valid training certificate that must be issued by the manufacturer. So on this basis, like a chief officer, if he wants to do the inspection of life raft, then he must have the certificate given by the survey tech. so based on that survey tech has two possibilities through which we can get that certificate either we can do an online training or we can do an offline training on the survey tech site so we'll see that now so this is our survey tech manual which i have taken out from the box okay so inside this manual there are two three things which will be there first is your life raft service extension certificate you have to fill this certificate I'll tell about the certificate later on. Then there is a form inspection log form where you just have to strike down the year and the month in which you have done the inspection. And then there are training instruction as well. So basically what Survey Tech wants is that they want you to watch the videos online or offline. If you have a good internet, then they want you to go to this particular site, enter your detail, your name, date of birth, IMO number, life raft serial number. So after entering all these details, you have to watch the videos. Once you have completed watching all the videos, so there are around 19 videos, small small videos. So you have to watch all the videos, and then you will get a certificate from Survey Tech. So as you can read over, you can pause the video and you can read it. These instructions. So this is the website SurveyTechGroup.com. Here we have to click on Watch and Accept Training Videos. Now it is a slow website. So once we click over here. it will open like this here we'll enter our detail a name date of birth imo number and any one life raft serial number normally on ship we have two to three life raft so any one life raft serial number you can enter over here once you have enter over there then after that 
these are the videos watch and accept training videos section 1 of 19 so you will have to watch all these videos which are given they are, these are present on youtube as well but you have to watch through here if you want to get the certificate we have to watch through here get and just continue with the other videos till 19 of 19 and then it will generate a certificate online or if you don't have good internet on board then you can do an offline training basically in that what we have to do is take the cd install the cd in your pen drive or in your computer then after installing the cd then it will ask all your details once you want to watch the video you have to fill again fill the same information as we as we would have filled in online form then you fill all the information and then you can start watching the training videos once you have watched all the videos there will be a certificate at the end which you have to take print and sign it then send the certificate to this particular email they will endorse it and they will or they will validate endorse it and they will give it back to you via mail or fax as they say so this is what you have to do in an offline procedure so this is my certificate which i got from the Servitech after doing the training i did then online training now this certificate is valid for five years why do we want that certificate is because as you can see over here this is a service extended form for life rafts here we will fill all the detail name, vessel name, name of in inspector will be your name, IMO number, training certificate number. So this number you can only get from your training certificate. Hence that is why we want that training online or offline how you would do it. And then uh, you will put that number over here. Then rest all is simple. Serial life route number. For example you have three life routes you will enter their serial number. Then their sensor serial number, life raft capacity, TO or DL. This TO means throw over, DL means David launch. So which type of life raft do you have? So like for example, the one which is in forward, that is normally always throw over. If you have other types also, like from your David launch, then you will write DL. So your life raft person capacity and then your TO or DL. Date of annual inspection, the day when you have done the inspection, result of humidity and CO2 whether the humidity and CO2 checks were okay or not. So now we have come on deck to do the inspection. So this is the point which we have to open from the plug which is given by the Servitech itself. So we have to carry that plug. So this is the plug. I'll turn this. I'll put this plug. This is a three pin plug. So I'll insert the pin, turn it anti-clockwise and open the plug. Behind this plug there is a USB port. Kind of a USB uh, port is there to be connected that is USB type E as you can see over there so that port I will connect with this cable which is connected with the equipment which is given by the Servitech so once you connect over there make sure you connect it properly sometime it is loose connection so make sure you connect it properly and thereafter you can switch on the equipment after it is switched on it will uh, search for the equipment sometime it's like for example here it is saying it is sensor error so just uh, you know touch the cable it, it sometime it is possible that it is slack it will take around 10 seconds to download the information from that equipment and after that it will show you result for co2 and rh here it is showing both of them in green so both of them are passed here you can see the serial number as well that is 287337 so every life raft will have this certain serial number which we have to note down in the certificate which we'll make later on once we go in the accommodation so i have noted down that number also and both co2 and rh is fine and this take out the usb port that's it with the test so that's it with the check which we have to do from this survey tech equipment so once I have done the test, close the plug properly, make sure it is tight otherwise there are chances of water going inside. Now this is the inspection card which is given, which is present on every life raft. So just take out the inspection card, open the cover and fill it properly or basically it has just the general information. Now here I will put the date of inspection that is 1st June and my signature. So this card is pretty much simple to fill it. I'll put back the card after filling. 
now here there is a sticker which is given that is 12 months and 24 months inspection sticker so first we'll cross out or cut the year on which we have done the inspection so this is 2022 i'll scratch that and uh, on which month we have done the inspection so on june we have done the inspection so six number so this is just an indication that on which month the last servicing was done now here on this you can see there is a serial number which is given this serial number we have to note it down from every life raft on which we will do the inspection because we have to fill in the certificate which will fill in accommodation other than that there is no hru otherwise we would have checked the condition of hru the connection of hru the connection of uh, the lashings which are there on the life raft the condition of the container or the grp we have to check that there are no damages to this so these are general checks which we have to do on the life raft the painter is rightly connected the hru expiry date so these things we have to check properly and once we are sure that all these things are confirmed then we can go and fill our certificate after doing the inspection on all life raft now here they have stated out one thing that within interval of 30 months this life raft must be serviced by the shore guy like 12 months we can do the inspection next 24 months also we can do the inspection but within 30 months so after two years we have to do the servicing from the shore so after you have done the inspection we'll make an entry in this servitech extended service life raft form which is there inside this book itself so there are many forms you can take out the form one form from there and Regarding the life rafts, I've written their serial number I've, and I've taken the sensor number photo also while doing the test. So I've written it down over here. Those things which I'll copy over in the form. So we'll just write down this. Your vessel name. Name of inspector. So your own name. Uh, name of the person on whose name the certificate has been issued. So you write down that. Training certificate number. So that's my certificate number basically. So this is the certificate number which I'll put over here. So here life raft serial number. So I'll return starboard side. Those I have already written it down on my paper for my reference, easy reference. As I've told, oh, this already TO means throw over, DL means debit launch. So all my life routes were throw over. There is no debit launched. So that is TO, date of annual inspection, 1 June. result of humidity was okay result of co2 was okay so that's it same thing to be copied for the other so in my certificate file i'll keep this survey tech certificate and my training certificate both of them together for annual inspection records along with photographs so that's it